Use code AFTV20 for 20% off your order with Fireway Pizza. Just click the link in the description below or go to fireway.co.uk now. AFTV is finished at the Etihad. It is Manchester City nil, Arsenal nil. And I can't help but think that it's a potential missed opportunity. A lot of people I'm speaking to are saying they're really happy with the draw and of course we haven't lost the game. But when you look at it, was there a missed opportunity there for Arsenal to take all three points? Now, there might be some fans that look at it differently and say that Manchester City also had their chances. Nathan Ake in the first half, uh, chance with a header and of course Haaland in the second half. But I can't help but think that more clear-cut chances come towards Arsenal potentially and I felt we just bottled it in the final third. I thought our decision-making was fairly poor at times. Bakaya Saka not with the best game. Martin Erdegaard's decision-making, although great on the ball, sometimes the final through ball just wasn't right. And Trossard, I can't help but think he has to put that ball across to Martinelli. So there was chances for Arsenal to win the game. And I think we'll look back at that potentially tonight when we look back at the highlights or on match of the day and maybe become a little bit frustrated. Having said that, we've definitely seen a performance defensively from Arsenal today. I thought Gabriel and Saliba's performance together was absolutely outstanding. I think we've got a couple of monsters there on the side and people actually forget or don't credit enough the signings of these two players. Unai Emery signed William Saliba, who was partnering for Fafana at the time, if you remember, uh, over at St Etihad. And I do believe that Gabriel was 27 million as well. Two brilliant players that have formed a partnership that some people are calling the best in Europe and today didn't really give Haaland a sniff. The only chance he had, he actually missed completely. So I will say... I think those two deserve an amazing amount of credit today. It was actually old school, seeing the likes of Gabriel up against Haaland. It was reminding me, similarly to the Martin Keown, Ruud van Nistelrooy of 2003-2004, that kind of battle is something that I really love seeing. And I don't think we've had that enough in this Arsenal side. Players now like Declan Rice and Gabriel, even Kai Havertz, Saliba we've mentioned, Ben White, Kivior, they're kind of given that physical presence and the attributes that potentially we've lacked and missed over the years. And I think with Arsenal today, I think that's what we can be proud of. I also want to mention Declan Rice, because I think in midfield, when we needed him, he was there. The only disappointment, I think, is the final third today for Arsenal, as far as we're concerned. I think there was definitely an opportunity there that's potentially missed. A lot of the neutral fans are saying that we've come for a draw. I don't know why people were expecting us to go and blitz this team 3-0. These are the treble winners. They're the champions. They're the best team in the world, some people are saying. Still, their record is unbelievable. I think they've lost one game in 31 or 32. It might be even more than that after today. So I look at it in a kind of couple of ways. Yes, potentially, there's a missed opportunity. Could we have done more in the final third? The answer is yes. But actually, Manchester City might think that as well. I think both teams were potentially scared to lose this game in moments because of the Liverpool victory earlier on in the day against Brighton, which, to be fair, I don't think anybody did not predict correctly. But actually, a draw, we can walk away now and say, yeah, we've actually not lost at the Etihad for a long, long time. And for the first time in a while, sorry. And then you look at it moving forward now and maybe there is a mentality shift. Maybe we walk away from this and see more of the positives than the negatives. But the way I am, I want to win football matches. I can't celebrate draws. I can't walk away today believing that Arsenal were strong favourites to win this title. I still think it's a free horse race. And I think what we'll now see is where the momentum lies. The last time we come away with a point at a huge ground at Anfield, we ended up collapsing. And we lost to West Ham. We lost to Fulham. We went out the FA Cup to Liverpool. That has to change now. We've got Luton and Brighton. Two teams that on their day can play brilliant football. But two teams that Arsenal should be winning. And that's what I want to be seeing. We've got a massive April and a massive May. Which means that every three, four days Arsenal are going to be playing football. And I now want to see that momentum continue. And see us continue to play the football that we've really enjoyed. Particularly from coming back from Dubai from January. So that's what I'm going to be looking at. Arsenal have got a long way to go. They've got the whole of April and May with Champions League football thrown into it as well. Bayern Munich coming up home and away. And if we do get further in that, potentially the winners of Man City and Real Madrid. Long way to go. Lastly, the squad depth. For me, for the first time, we're starting to see Arsenal actually use the squad from the bench and actually not be seeing a huge drop in the level of quality. We're very, very used to seeing the likes of Eddie Nketiah, Emil Smith-Rowe, Reese Nelson, Fabio Vieira. Now we're starting to see Trossard and Martinelli come on, Thomas Partey come on, Tommy Yasu, Zinchenko, who didn't even get a, a, a nod today. So for me, with Jesus coming back and some of the other players getting back into this side, we're going to need that moving forward, playing every few days. We take the positives from today, nil-nil, and we move to Luton midweek.